Hello my lovely butterflies. Look at this beautiful chaotic mess. It's an organized mess and it makes me so happy when I see all of my stuff just hanging around. Anywho, today I wanted to share with you a project that I had been working on. I The video before this will probably be the one where I made one of the dimensional bookmarks, but I want to show you all of the other dimensional bookmarks that I have been making using the Jane Davenport paper. I believe, yes, because I went today and the line is still there. Her line is still at Michael's. I think it's going to be a permanent thing because sometimes I've seen lines that come and go. Um, but her line is still pretty much there. So I rediscovered this paper pack and I, I think I featured it in several videos. I think um, while making this TN series I use this paper a lot but I had used her in last year's um, me and my big ideas planners so I really love it I really love her style um, maybe I can even use this girl anyway so what I did was that I, I fussy cut out all of the little women that I found inside the paper pack so this was the first one that I fussy cut then I um, she uses several women in here. Let me see. I'm trying to find the other one so you have a point of reference for what I did. I cut her out. Let me just... I cut her out. Let's see who else I cut out. Oh my god, I have so many random pieces just lying around. I cut her out. And then I cut her out. So I want to show you how, what I did to them. So I got the bright idea to make dimensional bookmarks while I was creating the TN that I created. And so, I just grabbed a bunch of my stuff in my stash and put it to good use. So this is the first one that I created, like this, with her head. How adorable is this? The eyeballs may look a little creepy, but I just felt like it gave it a little something. And I don't know, I just put a mustache on her because, I don't know, I just felt like it, it went with her style for some reason, so. And then this patch is from Hobby Lobby that I recently just hauled. These glasses are from a Hobby Lobby pack. The mustache is from Hobby Lobby as well. The stickers are from Michael's, I believe. They come like this. So I am going to show you, you know, what I, a couple things that I did use for, for making these. These are, the glasses come like this. And so when the stickers are on sale, it's a great time to to stack up on them and you can use them for several different projects the other women that I'm going to show you I use these guys we try these eyelashes also from Hobby Lobby and let me take her out for a minute and just so I could show you all of the things that I use this I had in my stash for a while I had not been able to use it or incorporate it into any projects really this was from Michael's a while back, and I had it in different colors, so I put it to good use. I love that I was using most of the stuff in my stash that had been just sitting there forever. And then, in one of them, I used a couple of strands of these guys that I found at Michael's recently, or a couple months ago. I had found this yarn at Dollar Tree. I put that to good use. This piece of... This ribbon, I think it's from Michael's. I used this one and you will see how I did that. So, so that was the first one, this was her. I loved how it came out and I call it a dimensional bookmark or page marker because you can really use it in your TNs or planners. Um, to hold your spot and the great thing is that they don't really create that much bulk as long as you don't use too bulky dimensional items. And what I did to give it some height 
was attached it to and now we'll show you a finished product of how it looks in the tan that I made but what I basically did was cut like another piece of paper that was long so that it could fit so that her head could pop out a little bit higher in the tan so another piece of paper here laminated it and then I used a popsicle stick to hold it and give it some something sturdy to hang on so I used one of these and then it held on pretty well and I'll show you that okay there's so much I want to show you that <laughs> I can't contain myself right okay so then this was the original first one I made and I do have a video on how we made it together so you can look back on that and see. So I had these glasses from Hobby Lobby. I gave her a little embellishment on her third eye is what I call it. I had these fabric flowers. These are some tassels from the Target dollar spot from a while ago. These bows, I think they were from Hobby Lobby. These are the tassels from this. That is that sticky paper that I use, which is this and just stickers and random things again I didn't want to create too much bulk but I did want to give it some interest and I really loved how it turned out I am so happy with how it turned out and then I also made this one and I don't have the original um, one on her paper because I already used the other sheet but basically it was just a big sheet of paper and it had this girl and it had um, it said I'm learning to fly but I had accidentally cut off the arm it's still cute because it says learning to fly and that's you know that's all of us we're continuously learning to fly evolving and becoming you know better versions of ourselves so I really love this now what I did for this one I had recently picked up a pack of die cuts from a local dollar store that's not a Dollar Tree and they had these guys and I love this pack. I am in love with it. I can't believe I paid a whole dollar and it brings so many. I don't even know how many pieces. 33 pieces. That's a lot. You would never find something like this at Michael's. This would cost a lot more in one of the craft stores. So it brings different styles of butterflies. And so I figured it was perfect to give her wings. Um, I know I did cut off her arms. It's a little weird, but I just gave her wings because she is learning how to fly so she's starting to open them and then I put this little embellishment here it's a fabric flower that I just had the ribbon I made like this little tassel skirt from it using this ribbon and then I and then I just put the sticker that I had of a of a butterfly here even though it already had some couple of butterflies so I really didn't do that much extra to this one like I did to the other ones I did end up adding her little third eye embellishment and I think I put a little bit of stickles on her cheeks. No, but it's a little loud. So, yeah, that's that. That's so cute. And don't mind this. I actually had... Oh my gosh, this is too funny. I need to wipe this off. But um, I stabbed myself trying to do this. And that's why I, ha I always have handy dandy um, band-aids. Because I... I do get crafters, <laughs> crafters injuries sometimes, so I stab myself with my awl by mistake, um, you know, trying to rush this project, but what I did just basically made knots at the end of it. Yeah, don't mind my blood splatters. Um, so anyways, this is super cute. I loved it. I loved it. This could be, again, for a page, a bookmark, or I don't know. Um, I haven't really thought of any other ways to use it right now, but I'm pretty sure something will come to me. And I think this is the last one that I made. Well, no, the one before last, because the other one's in my TN right now. So then this one. This one, I... This one really came out super cute. I love... <laughs> look at her hair. So she already had different color hair in the drawing. And I was like, ooh, maybe I can use this and make it her hair. So I just put some E6000 around it. Um, and for all of the embellishments, pretty much I used E6000 because glue, like any other glue, would 
probably not hold on to this laminate paper. I put stickles on her cheeks here and then I used those stickers from this paper pack here to adhere them to here. And then another little third eye embellishment, a little bow, these earrings that actually move. And so I used a brad that I just had in my stash from forever ago. I never found uses for them, but it clicked to use them here for the earrings. And the earrings are actually, I'm so excited that, I, that I'm, I'm using my stuff, right? The earrings are actually from this. And this <laughs> is from this pack of handmade Charlotte Kids paper jewelry and it just brings a bunch of random stuff which was perfect for this project um i received that in and i think i actually hauled it in a four dollar grab bag it brought a bunch of kid stuff and i really wasn't sure if i was going to keep it or if i was even going to be able to use it and lo and behold look it served its purpose and I did use it for one of the other girls but I really loved it and I think this one's tall enough to where I don't have to add another piece of cardstock or anything here um, she is a little wide at the bottom so it would probably have to be for like an a5 or you can even go ahead and just trim this part right here and it will be perfect so now to show you my chunky monkey TN such a let me move the camera a little bit I feel like I'm not not really okay I think that should be okay so look at all the stuff sticking up at the top I know it's a little bit much for the average person but I'm pretty out there and this just makes me so darn happy obviously it's not practical this is more of a decorative fun um creative outlet more than anything this is probably not something i can fit into my purse although me being me will probably do it but um for the average person this is not something you can use on a daily basis or whatever um so i'm going to show you how i incorporated the other doll in here and she looks so cute and i'm going to do a final flip, flip through very soon of this planner i'm just like getting a few things together um, but very soon you will see the flip through of everything I created. But this is her. This is her. How cute is she? Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me show you. What I did was, this is what I'm talking about. Her head was pretty short up here, right? So what I did was I used one of the most recent paper packs that I bought, um, one of the papers that I just loved. I also laminated this piece. This is also from this Jane Davenport paper stack. I love what it says. Make time for your art. You should always make time for your art. Then I used one of the Target Dollar Spot um, stickers, pockets, and of course I double-sided it. Here's where I say I incorporated that, um, what do you call it, popsicle stick for it, um, just to hold it because it was too flimsy, it was too heavy from the top. So this was just perfect and I didn't um, use my best washi for it. I do, you, do, you do need, I would say use maybe masking tape is a little bit sturdier than regular washi or use really good quality washi because it does want to pop off here but so far for me it's been pretty good. Um, and then here I put a sticker of a butterfly. The earrings are from that pack that I showed you. And so I wanted to make like a Frida Kahlo looking girl, right? So I did put a little bit of a mustache on her cause she did have like the facial hair. We all know that and it's perfectly fine. It was her style. She was gorgeous either way. And then um, the thick eyebrows. And so what I use for that, and I don't know if I have it here or if I even have any more of it. Um, Dollar Tree carries like those fake mustaches. And so I just cut the mustaches and I use several pieces of that same mustache to create this 
look right here. I used stickles on her cheeks. I used those same um, eyelashes from Hobby Lobby for her eyelashes. Um, and then I put another little third eye embellishment here. And then this flower I have had from Forever Go from Michaels a long, long time ago. And I think it looks darting. And look, her earrings also swivel and they move because I did put the brads there. But I really, really, really loved how this turned out. I'm so happy. I just, I'm having way too much fun creating right now. And I really needed it because... I have been feeling a little bit blue and you know um and, and I'm, I'm having trouble getting over like things and and whatnot so this has really helped me it's been my saving grace and i'm really really happy that i can always fall back on my art to help me get through you know my my struggles so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, I've been having so much fun and I just want to encourage all of you to, you know, to dive into your art and create stuff, you know, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling down, blue or anything, just, just, just create art, you know, and uh, you're going to feel so much better afterwards and it'll, it'll help you stay present. So I will do a flip through of this TN pretty soon and i will catch you in my next video thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos i've been uploading a lot lately and thank you so much for being here and remember fly free butterflies bye